Hello everybody and good evening to you all and tonight we are going to have our 54th teacher talk session and tonight uh, we have a, a very special uh, era and I know that you are all waiting for her just like me because i am <laughs> been waiting for this moment uh, with very uh, the patient and and also I'm very excited for this session and tonight we are going to have Professor Dr. Aydan Ersos, the president of INGET. And we are going to have our session with her. Let me invite her to our session, then we are going to start it. I have invited. Yes, there she is. Yes, Aydan Hocam. Yes. Good evening. It's great to see you. Thank you. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And before we start our session, I would like to say uh, thank you to accept my invitation for teacher talks. I'm you made me really happy, and we are. I'm really, you know, the honor to have you here. I don't know, John. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. <laughs> It's great, really. I still can't believe that we are having this uh, <laughs> uh, live <laughs> session with you. <laughs> I was really thinking about it that it's going to be a very difficult, maybe. We have uh can you hear me i don't know john yes i can now huh, okay so sometimes it happens this connection problems sorry oh, about it sorry about it and i don't want to uh, wait anymore and i don't want to waste time because your your time is uh, really precious just like others and i know that you are very busy so if you are ready let's get started <laughs> I am ready. Okay. I have Wonderful, I don't jump. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And I don't know, jump. Uh, we know you uh, about you a lot of things, and but maybe our uh, listener or our guest would you like to know more about you? <laughs> and can you uh, tell us about yourself, please, and a bit about your experience too? Yeah, of course. Well, I graduated a long time ago from Ajatepe University. My major was linguistics, mm -hmm. but in Turkey, uh, there's not much that you can do when you have a linguistics diploma. So I decided to switch my major. So I did my MA and PhD in ELT, English language teaching. It was um, very hard because um, at that time, a long time ago, we didn't have uh, too many... Uh, professors of ELT. Mm -hmm. Most of them were either from um, educational sciences or linguistics or literature. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like Jem Yilmaz uh, says, I did everything little, little into the middle. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think uh, we did a great job. But of course, we studied harder than anyone else because um, uh, we were the first, in fact, like guinea pigs, you know, in the area. I see. Um, when I started my uh, career, I worked uh, at kindergarten level, uh, primary school level, secondary school level. I taught at um, the military school here in Ankara. Uh, I taught at different, uh, I taught general English at different departments of uh, Gandhi University. Mm -hmm. uh, I also taught English in different private language courses. You know, language teachers do not make much money. So I have to work very hard uh -huh. you know, just to survive. <laughs> 
Nothing has changed, believe me. Nothing has changed. It's getting worse every day. Um, I don't know. I, my academic life started uh, in Gaza University mm -hmm. and finished there. <laughs> um, I retired in 2000. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't happy in the academic world. It wasn't academic anymore. It was more something else. I don't want to say it here. Um, I see. <laughs> <laughs> there may be some secret agents listening to this. So. <laughs> um, well, ever since, after my retirement, I started working uh, for Inged. And uh, I have been working for Inged on voluntary basis. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's, a, it's all kind of a charity work. I love it. Believe me, I love it. Mm -hmm. If I um, can provide any service uh, to my colleagues, yeah. I will do it. I will. I um, I'm a single mom, happily divorced, <laughs> very happily divorced. I have two daughters wonderful daughters they are always my greatest supporters great um i love eating yeah <laughs> as you can easily tell <laughs> <laughs> um what else i love traveling i love it uh but of course the last two years like or one and a half years I found myself locked in my apartment, ah, but I can imagine. Um, I'm lucky. I'm still alive, so mm -hmm. no problems. <laughs> um, I love teaching English to children. That's my favorite area. Wonderful. Uh, the second area, I would say, I shouldn't say maybe second, but um, not as popular for me as. Uh, teaching English to young learners is materials development, oh. materials design, materials mm. adaptation. I see. I don't know what else I can say about myself. Oh. I mean, uh, I, I have um, lots of experience, some good, some terrible. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. <laughs> but who doesn't? This is life. I see. Right? You're right. You are right. <laughs> yeah. I see. And I'm sure that your your experiences is really precious for everyone. Thank you. If they are ready. Thank okay. You. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aydan Ajam. Uh, let me move to another question. So, yeah. Aydan Ajam, what was your favorite moment or experience yeah. in your own education Ooh. that you okay. still remember? Honestly, when you ask this question, the only things that come to my mind are bad memories, unfortunately. Mm. Um, maybe it's because of the education system, or maybe it was because of that um, time when teachers th thought that being strict mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, dictator-like was actually being a mm. teacher. Um, I don't recall any favorite moments, really. I but see. I do recall some teachers and some professors who really made me uh, feel motivated mm -hmm. or uh, inspired me, maybe I can I say. Uh, but when you look at the number... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big, believe me. So I believe we learn from our experiences. So this bad educational background, I attended a private school. Mm -hmm. And it was one of the best schools, uh, it is still, uh, in Turkey. But, oh my God, it was like a prison. <laughs> We wouldn't be allowed to laugh too much. Uh, we wouldn't be allowed to run, you know. Wow. They were so strict. So it was like we were prisoners and they were the guards, you know, the 
guardians there. Um, but I do appreciate those wonderful teachers and professors at university level who inspired me, mm -hmm. who really uh, uh, gave me this desire to be a teacher, to become an academic. I see. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't have any good memory <laughs> okay. for any you. moment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Aydan Hocam. And uh, Tony asks, which school did you go? Can you please name it? Uh, that would be commercial, right? Uh, uh, this is actually, uh, it's your choice. Okay. Okay, if Ted, you... Ted Ankara College. I see, Ted Ankara. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, who says, Aygül Çelik says, go Aydan Hocam, go and tell the obligations we are exposed in state schools. Teachers should be free in their teaching styles. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, I, uh, well, teachers are free to choose their own teaching styles if they are competent. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <clears throat> please, my colleagues, do not get offended. You know that I have a very sharp tongue, and people really call me uh, latent and rude. Uh, I may sound rude, but please, think about it. If you let teachers do whatever they want to do, Mm -hmm. Okay, if they are not competent in their field, can you imagine what they're going to do? <laughs> so, um, of course, this doesn't apply to good teachers who continuously mm -hmm. uh, improve themselves, who are open to changes, who are ready to try something new to see whether it works in the classroom or not. I'm not talking about those teachers. I love them. I adore them. I I'm talking mm -hmm. about those lazy uh let me find a nice noun <laughs> lazy people okay not to say something else uh who think that just getting a diploma is enough to become a teacher no at this age with this title i'm still learning and oh believe me there's so much to learn And most probably, I will never be able to say, okay, now I have mastered this. Mm -hmm. Never. I recall no. uh, one of my colleagues' quotations. I love it. Uh, Sibel Tuzel Kandila. She said once, Oldum is only four dots away from Oldum. Huh. So you can never say, I'm done. I have learned everything. No, there is no end to it. Mm -hmm. So that's a quick remark on uh, Aygül Hocam's comment. <laughs> I see. Thank you very much, Aydan Hocam. And my other qu question uh, is uh, about your uh, philosophy of teaching. So what is your philosophy of teaching, Aydan Hocam? Well, I guess people who know me also know that I keep sharing this quotation or quote a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and my educational philosophy uh, revolves around mm -hmm. this quote. Mm -hmm. If a child can't learn the way you teach, maybe it's high time you started teaching the way they learn. I see. So... Mm -hmm. In my opinion, teaching does not entail learning. Mm -hmm. Just because you think that you're teaching doesn't mean that learners are learning. Mm -hmm. God knows what they are learning. Okay? <laughs> uh, so, it's not our responsibility <laughs> to teach. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot teach someone who doesn't want to learn. But it's our responsibility to prepare the conditions um, to increase student engagement, mm -hmm. students' active involvement, um, help them, guide them, mm -hmm. inspire them. 
to learn how to learn mm -hmm. so that they can become autonomous, independent of us. Okay? So we should be like, I don't know, um, the guide showing uh, different places and saying, look how nice these places are. So go and enjoy whichever you like. You know, that kind of thing. So that is my philosophy. Just because you enter the classroom and you talk, talk, talk, talk, talk, mm -hmm. talk, talk, right, right, right, right, right, does not mean that you have taught something in that classroom. I see. Thank you very much, Aydan Hocam. And uh, <laughs> there's a funny question here uh, from uh, <laughs> who was the first boy? <laughs> she, uh, the, from Tony. The, and uh, how did it... <laughs> Uh, something like this. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, you should block Tony. You should block him. <laughs> <laughs> and something like this. Thank you very much for this nice uh, question. <laughs> and so my next question is, as you know that I don't know, Jam, uh, I think it's from the March 2020, we have uh, started the COVID-19, I think the situation and we locked down. And after that moment, we all face uh, difficult times with this pandemic situation from face-to-face yeah. -face education. We moved to online education. And right now we are starting to back to face-to-face -face education, but that mm -hmm. uh, this, this online learning, you know, we, it's, you know, the, it, made our i think learning really difficult at that time so what is as a an, a teacher trainer as a really experienced teacher what do you think about distance education i don't know jam um welcome jam there's something that i want to say here i really hate people who say that they know everything Ne iş olsa yaparım abi kind of thing should not apply to academic people. Distance education is not my expertise. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot talk about its advantages, disadvantages, pluses, minuses, pros, cons, whatever. Mm -hmm. What I can say is my personal <coughs> opinion. Distance education should not be enforced this situation is enforced to us or was enforced because no one uh, chose online education uh, voluntarily it happened yeah we weren't ready and we went through this we are still going through this trial try and error you know kind of process Meanwhile, students are getting mad because we are not competent in the field. So we're learning together. Mm -hmm. And teachers, I believe, should have openly mentioned this, say, should have said, mm, children, guys, this is new for me too. So we're going to learn together. Mm -hmm. We're going to make mistakes And learn together. You help me, I help you. Um, a very human thing, you know. Um, so, I believe school is uh, a place where you build uh, social relations, friendships. Mm -hmm. uh, they learn from each other. So, peer learning takes place. Uh, they learn how to behave, how to act. Mm -hmm. social behavior, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And it's an escape from home. Yeah. Because some people do not have uh, the best conditions at home, believe me. And this includes teachers as well. Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, coronavirus has taken all of these from us suddenly. Like, One day we were like, oh, what is happening? A pandemic? Okay. The next day, lockdown. So people found themselves in a terrible situation. Some, I should say, 
in a terrible situation. Mm -hmm. Teachers, for example, they found mm -hmm. themselves stuck in a small place, small area with lots of destructions around, maybe a horrible husband, a, a horrible wife shouting, little kids running around, uh, the cat jumping on the laptop, you know, uh, because when you go to school, you leave all of these behind. behind. And you can focus their attention, uh, everything, everything that you have, onto your academic work, your teaching, your students. Mm -hmm. But at home, no, you don't have that luxury. You're surrounded by distractions. The same is true for uh, students. Some do not even have any access to uh, a proper internet. Yes. They don't have devices, for example. Some of them use uh, their father's or mother's uh, cell phones. Cell phones, exactly. Uh, this situation is a horrible situation. But this doesn't mean that distance education is horrible. No, distance education is inevitable. And you know what, Volcan mm -hmm. Because of distance education, yes. You invited me to this talk, yeah. and I said, yes, of course. Thank you. Remember, because of this uh, online learning thing, Inget has started online seminars. Mm -hmm. Because in the past, people, whenever you said, we have a webinar, oh, hey, oh, whatever, <laughs> they were like, uh, no, I don't like them. It's always good to have, you know, uh, these get-togethers, you know, drink tea together, gossip, and attend the, um, you know, the program, uh, the face-to-face, -face, you know, educational yeah. program. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to take this. But now we don't have a choice. So there are some pluses in this, believe me. Uh, yeah, there are minuses, but I believe we have reached more people definitely through uh, devices through technology by the way uh, i should mention here uh sedat akayola hojam mm -hmm. and sonar yildirim hojam they are my idols because i have absolutely no idea about technology i see i'm learning i'm learning so it's a very difficult process especially when you're as young as i am yeah <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, you are still, you are still great. So, yeah. bottom line is, distance education should not be enforced. It should be by choice. I see. That's like right. what I can say about it. You should invite some experts in that field. Maybe they will get a, give a better answer. I understand. Thank you very much for your nice comment and suggestions. I don't know, John. And my next question is also, and by the way, uh, there are some uh, comments I can see that really good comments. But if you have any questions to Aydanojam, please uh, write them into the question part so we can easily see that question. And then we don't miss the questions that you want to ask to Aydanojam. Thank you. Yeah. And my other, yeah, you were going to say something, I think. Yes. Uh, just a quick note. You know that I'm farsighted. Uh, so, with this phone, I removed my eyeglasses because it will be uh, too close, you I know. See. Because of that, I cannot see the remarks and questions. So, I'm terribly sorry if I miss any comments or any remarks or any questions. Well, Kanojan, please help me. Yeah. If well, uh, there is anything that you would like to read or tell me or ask me. Go ahead and do that because I can't okay. see them. No, okay, don't worry, okay. don't worry, Ojam. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to okay. also follow that part too. And my <laughs> next, my, my next question, I don't know, Jam, is about again a, a distance education or online learning. They say is online learning suitable for everyone? And what about as a experience <laughs> with the kids? You said I really love it. What about pre-primary? students for this online education online education is not suitable for everyone 
uh, I strongly suggest anyone who is interested in this uh, field, uh, <clears throat> they should watch my video called Very Young Learners and Distance Education, Is It Mission mm -hmm. Impossible? It is uh, uh, available on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I talk about the age restriction there and why it is very difficult to keep very young learners in front of a screen. Uh, of course you can, but the timing has to be totally different. Mm -hmm. So I have a full session there. Um, I cannot give a full answer here, but if sure. they're interested, sure. please uh, go and watch the video uh, that was a Zoom meeting. Uh, I believe you will find all of the answers there. I see. It's in in that uh, Turkey YouTube channel. That's that's yes. the video that you have. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, Aydanucam. Thank you very much. And my next question is about. Uh, I, I I hope I'm not going too fast about the questions. No, right? no, the no. Pace is fine. No. Okay. So my next question is about rapport. So Aydanucam, uh, what would you suggest? to the teachers to establish an effective rapport with their students. Actually, mm -hmm. I was going to ask this question on a face-to-face -face environment, but what mm -hmm. about online learning? And my other question is, can every teacher create a good rapport with his or her students? Okay. Well, um, the teacher who is truly passionate about teaching and devoted to their profession in my opinion teaching is not a job it is a mm -hmm. profession is likely to have a good rapport mm -hmm. with their students online or face to face doesn't matter i see uh, every person would love to have a teacher like that Such teachers become inspiration to others with their positive energy, mm -hmm. with their enthusiasm, with their um, active behavior, with their care for their students. Believe me, it's contagious. Students feel that you love them that you care for them and they immediately respond positively back to you. Well, there may be a few. I'm not talking about minority. I'm talking about the majority. Mm -hmm. This happens, believe me, online or face-to-face. -face. So each and every <clears throat> teacher can have good rapport with their students, provided that They love their profession. Yeah. Because it shows. It shows. I see. You're right. Okay. You're right. I really I really like the, the, the, the sentence or quote we can say that the uh, the stu students uh, don't want a perfect teacher. Uh, they want a happy teacher in the classrooms. Yes. yes. <laughs> that's that's definitely correct. I okay. 100% agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Aydan Ojam. Thank you very much. So my other question uh, is going to be about the Inget Turkey, which is also you are the president of Inget Turkey. And can you tell us about Inget Turkey and uh, also how can we become a member of Inget Turkey and what are the advantages of becoming a member of Inget Turkey? Ojam. Uh, Volcano Jam, you don't need any advantages to become a member of uh, INGET. Okay. INGET is a professional organization. Mm -hmm. So if you feel that you are a professional, mm -hmm. of course you should become a member. Because, um, I mean, people keep asking me, uh, what will INGET give to me if I become a member? INGET doesn't give me anything. Why should it give anything to you? Mm -hmm. How about the question, what are you going to give to INGET? Inget. Yes. Oh, INGET is an acronym that stands for 
İngilizce Eğitimi Derneği. Hı-hı. Please pay attention. Eğitimi Derneği. It's not İngilizce Eğitim Derneği. We are not for uh, English medium instruction. We are not against it, but we are not for it. Right. So it is um, English Language Teaching or English Language Education Association. Uh, a bunch of devoted teachers and professors came together in 1995 and founded this association. Uh, when we took over in 2006, uh, there were no other associations in Turkey. Now, uh, having an association has become very popular. So it, they're, they're coming up like pop, pop, pop, pop everywhere. Um, I, I wish them good luck. What I'm going to say is, if you're interested in Inged, what we do, uh, how you you can become a member, please visit our website. Mm-hmm. It's not difficult to become a member, believe me. Uh, you just need to belong to this profession. If yeah. you're an English teacher or a fourth-year student of an ELT department, you can become a member. It's so cheap. The yearly fee, annual fee, is only 35 liras. And um, there are uh, several different services that we offer, but you can uh, see what we do uh, on our website. Mm -hmm. And our website is www.inged.org.tr. So, um, yeah. They can they can easily Google it. They can say Inget, and they will find it. They will find mm-hmm. the website, and they will find um, uh, the information that need they need there. We are also present on different social platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, mm-hmm. LinkedIn, and we also have a YouTube channel. Thanks to distance education, we started that YouTube channel before we yeah. didn't have that. Okay. And I'm asking you guys, if you want to support us, please subscribe to our channel because it's important for YouTube to give you certain privileges. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, the number of subscribers is important for YouTube to give you certain privileges. And we want to have those privileges. Uh, and watch our videos and please leave a like. Okay? Uh, we are doing our... I mean, I shouldn't say we are doing our, but I hate that statement. Um, <laughs> we are working hard. I see. And we need your support. Definitely. Yeah. We will support you, I don't know, John. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much about Inget. Is that all about Inget? Uh, by the way, I just want to ask you dif- another question about Inget. I don't know, sure. John. Uh, do you have any plan? to organize a big online seminar or face-to-face seminar in near future? Well, <coughs> face-to-face, no. No. Definitely not. Unless each and every citizen, most importantly teachers, get vaccinated, it's not a clever thing to have a face-to-face uh, mm-hmm. event. But we are going to have our Uh, international ELT conference in November and uh, Bolo Abant is at uh, Baisal University is going to host this wow. online event. Uh, it is free if you're just a listener, if you want to be a participant, mm-hmm. it's free. Only those who would want to give a speech, uh, make a presentation, will have to uh, register and make a small amount of payment and if you follow us on social platforms you will also see and thank you very much welcome to for supporting us you keep uh, sharing our posters and uh, you know announcements um, but it is important 
See, uh, as an English language teacher, you support your organization. And as the organization, we support you. Thank you. Thank okay? you very much. So, I see. Like the motto that we have <laughs> in Inget, together we stand. Exactly. Together we stand. Yeah. Um, what else can I say? Um, maybe next year, 2022, we will start having our face-to-face -face event. Uh, but we will definitely continue our online events. I see. Because I see. this way is cheaper for those who mm -hmm. want to join. Uh, they don't need to pay any money for travel. They don't need to pay any uh, money for accommodation. Uh, they don't need to stay away from home. If they want to stay away from home, we will have face-to-face -face events. <laughs> they can say, I have to attend this you know, seminar, uh, but not before 2022. I see. I see. Thank you very much. I don't know. Ajam. We are looking uh, forward to having and uh, attending that uh, event. <laughs> I hope. Okay. Sure. And my next question is about uh, discipline uh, of the mm. students. So, I don't know, John, have you ever faced uh, a very difficult student to discipline in your classes? And what did you do? And how did you discipline him or her? Okay. Um, well, I'm not going to say that I discipline anyone. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, I don't think that I mean even with animals I'm terribly sorry for this um, analogy even with animals um, uh, there's a certain way of behaving uh, mm -hmm. treating uh, people if you um, treat someone um, like a big huge problem they will become a problem of course, I had difficult students, of course. Uh, but rather than, um, you know, labeling them or uh, showing negative attitude, I tried to uh, reach them. Mm -hmm. I tried to ask for their help. Uh, and if nothing worked, I had one-to-one -one uh interviews i said mm -hmm. what is the problem is the problem me uh, do, do you have a problem with me or is there something else is it something that i can help because i mean when you see a person sitting in front of you don't forget that this person also has a heavy baggage i see it's maybe mental emotional I don't know, cognitive, physical, mm -hmm. we, we never know. But walk on a jump, between you and me, forget <laughs> this. <laughs> I have worked with a few very difficult teachers. I see. They are worse than difficult students, believe me. Wow. Because with students, at least you can find an excuse. You can say, oh, they are too young. They are still in the process, you know. They are getting educated. Mm -hmm. But with teachers, oh, geez. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone teaches you something. And um, I don't know. These people, these teachers that I'm talking about, taught me uh, that people who are irresponsible uh -huh. shirkers, <laughs> if you excuse the expression, <laughs> we'll always find a way or excuse mm -hmm. to evade uh, their duty, their responsibility, their work, no matter what I do. I see. Okay. So nothing, nothing. Punishment, reward, praise, scolding, um, nothing works with them. Mm hmm you know, um, I came at peace with these people. I say, well, some people are eatable, some are not. Not. Mm -hmm. 
That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I, I cannot educate everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that. I don't know, John. Really, you've you had hard times about them, I think. <laughs> But it's great. But I'm I'm I'm sure that they they they were really lucky that you had the chance to have get kind of education from you. I hope they understood the precious of that education. <laughs> I had no problems with my students. My students, uh, some of them hated me. Some of them loved me. Some of them still call me. Mm -hmm. Some of them still send me messages. Some still send me flowers. Uh, my role is not to make them love me. I'm just there um, <laughs> loving what I do. I, see. I love my profession. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm here to help people uh, learn. Yeah. Right? If, if you like me, fine. If you don't like me, okay. But we need to respect each other. Definitely. Definitely. We'll stop. Okay. okay. So this is not a um, uh, relationship. <laughs> we don't need to fall in love okay. with each other. But we need to respect each other. Oh, definitely. You are right. I totally agree. I don't jump. And there is a yeah. comment uh, here uh, from uh, Matt. There is a very young girl who knows English and her parents en encourage her to give a private lessons. Just because she knows English, why does Aydana Jam think such things take place in our country? Well, uh, because in our country, everyone uh, does everything. <clears throat> As I've said at the beginning of my speech, Neisho Sayyaparam Abi is the culture of this society. Uh, can I teach Turkish? Well, I can. I have. <laughs> I have. <laughs> you know, I work with Yunus Emre <laughs> Institute, so uh, I work. I taught Turkish as a foreign language. Just because you know something doesn't mean that you can also teach it. You need to know how to. How to. That how to is very important, and even more important than is why. Knowing how it is important, but knowing why is more important. Mm -hmm. Why am I doing this? Why am I still giving stupid mathematical equations to teach stupid English? Nice. Subject plus verb two plus object. What is this? Why? Someone tell me the reason. Has anyone learned anything like this? Okay. So most probably this young girl um, is uh, teaching English in the best way possible, I can assume only. Mm -hmm. But if you ask why, why are you doing this? She has absolutely no idea. And that is very dangerous. That is a very, very dangerous. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't jump. Send that girl to me, Martoja. <laughs> okay. Send <laughs> please, Martoja. Send that girl to directly. I don't jump. Her. I'll take care of her. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. And I don't jump. My next question is about uh, is about again the the truth. Uh, I uh, this is the here is the question. What is the single truth? that you think a language teacher should be aware of? Ooh, one, yes. they are going to be poor. <laughs> in their life. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely, <laughs> that's, the, well, that's the best truth. That's the truth. <laughs> know it, okay? <laughs> Do not choose teaching unless you have some other income. <laughs> Just joking. But I'm not joking. In fact, it is a truth, right? Uh, Well, another thing, a uh, more academic answer. Let me give you a more academic answer. Okay. Being, being a professor, I need to do that. <laughs> um, language is a living entity. Mm -hmm. It does, it grows. 
Okay? It's extremely rich and it gets richer. Yeah. Day by day. Maybe the backbone <sighs> mm -hmm. remains the same, but the whole body changes. In order to be a good language teacher, you need to keep up with this living entity. Mm -hmm. um, do everything in English. Watch movies in English. Read books in English. Mm -hmm. Listen to podcasts in English. Uh, talk to yourself in English. Okay? Okay. Um, this is not being posh. This is not, oh, you know, I speak English, so, you know, I'm going to just do this. No. If you don't, it will fly away. Okay? So don't please say that, oh, I know, I, I know English. I speak English perfectly well. No, we don't. Every day... I learned something from the movies, from the uh, series that I watch. By the way, I love CSI series. Oh, wow. I believe a serial killer inside me. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> That's a great series. <clears throat> yeah. So, one, you're not going to be rich. You will remain poor. Two, language <laughs> is a living entity. It changes. So you need to keep up with it, okay? Okay, wonderful. And there is a comment, get married to an English guy to improve your English. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. The, uh, you the, know what? You know what? Is, Don't yeah. get married unless you think that that person is the person that you want to spend your life with. My God, marriage is not that... It, an easy institution believe me guys oh my god no no no no no uh marry an english guy uh, i have my serious doubts but you may consider a canadian one <laughs> great thank you for this uh, wonderful suggestion i don't know John. okay so my other question is let me move to the other question <laughs> and is about <clears throat> Uh, lang uh, the challenging issues. What do you think is the most uh, challenging issue in language education today, Aydan Hocam? Lack of motivation. Yeah. Nice. That's it. Okay. And amazingly, neither students nor teachers are motivated. Isn't that amazing? You're right. We hate what we do. Yeah. So, uh, imagine a movie where stars do not like their parts. What's going to happen? That movie is going to suck. Uh, I, definitely. <laughs> I can't say that. That is the most important challenge today. Mm -hmm. Students hate education. Teachers hate education. No one loves this thing. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So thank you very much, Aydan Hocam. Okay. The, I really, uh, the next question, I, I really w wonder what are you going to say about it? Uh, if you could uh, have one superpower to use <laughs> in the classroom, what would it be and how would it help? Well, I would definitely love to have uh, the control of time. Mm -hmm. Because I would be able to stop Reverse, slow down, mm -hmm. speed up, time, whenever I need it. And this will work not only in the classroom, but in my life as well. So that would be, ooh, an amazing superpower. I see. As a teacher, mm -hmm. as a teacher, as a normal person, I would love to be invisible so that I can... <laughs> Become invisible and get rid of some people who destroy this country. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. It's a great, great uh, superpower. Thank you very much. And my other question uh, is about Aydamajam, uh, 21st century. 
and you have some uh, experience about it and some uh, webinars it. and videos so do you think that the current way of educating children mm. fully prepares them for the needs of 21st century i will going to jump one a short thing of course. if you have watched my uh, videos uh, called so called the 21st century skills uh -huh. I'm totally against the idea of calling them 21st century skills. Putting technology aside, why why do we call them 21st century? Even primitive men had to have these <laughs> skills to survive. Inquisitive thinking, creative thinking, mm -hmm. uh, critical thinking, cooperating, collaborating. um me skills like perseverance uh -huh. self motivation self control yeah. focus without them can you call a person an intellectual being no you can't forget the century those are the skills that we need any human being needs literacy literacy skills as well Do we teach these at school? No. We hate creativity. We hate curiosity. If students question what we do, we hate them. This is a uh, vicious circle. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Because we haven't received that education We think that it is not a normal human reaction. I see. Let kids, children, be creative. Mm -hmm. If you do not destroy them, if you do not try to put them in a certain norm, they will survive. I see. We are destroying their life. Unfortunately. Thank you. Thank you very much for this nice comment, I don't jump. And <clears throat> my next question is about is uh, let me by the way, uh, I have only uh, three questions left. The time really so quick and I really don't want to, you know, the end this <laughs> session. So this is really brilliant and it's really I feel really lucky to listening to you here, you know, as a live. And I'm Thank sure you. that the ones who listen us they feel the same i don't know jump they feel the same i'm sure i i thank everyone um because i talk a lot i don't know any teacher who does not talk a lot anyways um i hope they like it i hope they do not feel bored um, if they feel bored they can leave if they leave i love you take care <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand, but I don't think so that they're gonna board. This is really brilliant. Thank you. And my other question is, I don't know, John. It's about the new teachers. What advice would you give to a new teacher who asks you, I don't know, John. What is the best way for me to keep growing as a teacher? Okay. Uh, I would give the same advice to any teacher, new or old. I see. Never stop learning. Never. Mm -hmm. Use every opportunity to learn. If you do not want to be in this profession, please go and find something else to do. Mm -hmm. Believe me, you can make a lot of money by just becoming a translator. I Believe see. me. Because teachers I know students can learn despite teachers. But I also know that there are some students who learn mm -hmm. because of their teachers. I see. So I I keep saying to my I always say this. Don't be a teacher. Be the teacher who <laughs> wonderful makes a difference who touches someone's life mm -hmm. who inspires others okay mm -hmm. learn learn learn 
Learn from your own experience. Observe yourself. Observe your peers. Attend seminars, uh, conferences. Read. I see. Learn, learn, <laughs> learn. Thank you very much, Aydan Hocam, for the suggestions. Thank you. And my other uh, the question is, what are your uh, favorite uh, websites that your three websites you suggest to use in teaching? Well, I personally love following Tony. <laughs> We all love. Tony always shares wonderful suggested reading material. Plus, I love Edutopia, www.edutopia.org. They have articles, they have ideas, they have activities. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's a very rich website. I also like, not as much as Edutopia, but uh, tefl.net. Okay. T-E-F-L.net. And uh, TELC.net. These okay. are two good websites. I also like following Setanay Sanin Hoca's uh, channel, mm -hmm. SETI Kids TV. SETI Kids uh, TV. Yes, SETI Kids TV. She's, oh my God, she reminds me of my own uh you know young ages she's so energetic she's so active she always comes up with something new it is always fun uh, she also gives you excellent ideas mm -hmm. so if but of course this is for teaching children okay if you're teaching university students of course this is not gonna work for you <laughs> but uh She shares wonderful ideas. I like uh, watching her channel. Uh, so, Editopia is my favorite. Uh, the others are uh, Telf and Telk.net mm -hmm. and City Kids TV. <laughs> I see. Thank you very much, Aydan Hocam. And Follow Tony. <laughs> Follow Tony. Yeah. He always finds very good reading materials. Yeah, he mentioned there on Facebook, like Tony, uh, on Facebook, let me find, yeah, Tony Gur 16 on Facebook, yes. Tony Gur 16. And he also... does the hard work, mm -hmm. he follows those <laughs> reading materials, I steal the ideas, I read them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are really cool ideas, I see them. Yes. They are yes. really cool. And there's a question i think ah uh, how would you change huh okay this he uh, he sent us a question tony if you became a minister of education how would you change things that's the question i would never become uh, the minister of education see what they do to the ministers <laughs> never no. uh i think i can do more personally than as a minister uh because I do not have to please anyone. I only need to please my students and myself. Okay. If I leave the classroom saying, ooh, okay, I think I did a good, good job. How can I make it even better the next time? So I think um, dealing with small group of people mm -hmm. is easier. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's much easier for you. Thank you very much, Aydan Hocam. And I don't jump. And my last question. Ready for it? And that's the, the most difficult, <laughs> the, the, the most difficult question. I still can't believe that how the time passed, how this one <laughs> hour has passed. I still can't believe it, but it has. Anyway, so and the last question is I don't jump. What is your motto? Okay, I have shared Inget's motto. Okay, and I totally believe in that. <laughs> Together. With Cooperation and collaboration are a must if you want to be successful in our field. Personally, I love Shakespeare's cult. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I cannot repeat it uh, in the exact words, 
But it goes like, we know what we are. We know what we have become. But we don't know what we can become. I see. Of course, there are certain uh, different ways of interpreting this line. But I interpret it as um, knowing yourself where you are is very important. Mm -hmm. But it's never your destiny. You can always become better if you want to. If you have that desire, nothing can stop you. Mm -hmm. So... Today, this is me. Tomorrow, you may get a better me. I see. But tomorrow's me will definitely be worse than the next <laughs> day's me. I see. Okay. Okay, I don't know, John. Thank you very much. It's a lovely uh, motto from you. And there is a uh, your student, but I think I can't read it. I don't know why. Uh, I think she was a student 20 years ago. And she says, I don't know, John is still the best teachers that I know. Dru, I think, Dru. Yeah, Dru. Thank you. 20 years ago, I was, uh, I was at kindergarten. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so wonderful. I don't know, John, uh, before uh, we almost come to end our session, live session. So before I... Welcome, John. Yes, of Welcome, course. Welcome, John. Do we have time? Uh, of course. I, I have a question for, well, in fact, I have a couple of questions for you. Oh, because oh you God. keep interviewing people, <laughs> but I would definitely love to learn why you started this series. Okay. What, what was your aim? What inspired you? And what is or was your toughest challenge to realize this series i see yes okay we are listening to you now <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful okay now the all eyes on me so <laughs> let me let me talk about it okay why i started you know actually i started uh, you know suddenly that idea actually i was thinking this to do it kind of things for a long time but i just mm -hmm. I couldn't find the, the, the, the right time to do it. And mm. after this pandemic, you know, the started, you know, I was thinking that everybody is, you know, trying something and doing some, you know, the webinars or, you know, the, from the Instagram, they are doing this live, live sessions. And I thought that, why not? I can do this. I can do kind of, a, you know, the, the session. And I started, the, you know, the, taught this uh, live sessions and also I was thinking that the, the, the right name of it thanks to my you know the my wife Nilgün she gave me this idea to teacher talks at uh, the title mm -hmm. and she's an English teacher too and mm -hmm. so we talk about it and I said I will do that and then at first it started just kind of like maybe I cannot you know the takes long serious time I started mm -hmm. just like it, a teacher talks first and then second and then third. And then some uh, people uh, asked me, can we join? Can we join mm -hmm. and become your guest? And I said, wow, of course. And then it, it, you know, it goes on like this. And then uh, I try to reach, you know, uh, I, every night I spent at least one hour, maybe half an hour, half an hour, and one hour in front of the PC and I search. I search LinkedIn. I search Facebook or Google or Instagram. Who who who can be very very useful for us to invite and talk and ask some questions to him or her? I try to choose the really inspired teacher. And actually, maybe they are experienced or maybe inexperienced, but it's not a problem for me because whatever yeah. we we get them even a single word. And uh, it's really precious for me and also for yeah. the listeners. And so the toughest, the toughest part of this for me, I always, you know, the, think that, oh, okay, I'm going to ask this. I'm going to ask this question. Sorry, invite. I send an invitation. I'll explain. Uh, would you mm -hmm. like to attend it? What if says no? 
I was just thinking, and I said, okay, it's mm -hmm. not the end of the world. I can ask. I can explain what mm -hmm. I'm doing and what I'm going to do and what's my aim. My aim is to, you know, to get this, you know, the, the very important uh, the educators. For me, every educators or teachers are important. Who wants to say something or attend or listen mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm to make them come together and share the ideas and for example now we are you are from ankara i think you are in ankara am i right yes um, if you are from ankara and you are attending here to this uh, session and you're sharing your really for me precious ideas and suggestions and maybe last week we had tony which is also he's also his ideas and you know the suggestions really precious and important And but maybe a couple of weeks ago we had another teacher maybe who you know maybe you don't know anyone doesn't know about it, but it's okay no problem. I was happy to listen his or her ideas and what is doing there, what kind of things do you there, you know that we share. And the, the another yeah. point is I am not sitting at home and waiting the time pass. I am trying to be useful for everybody to get yeah. to reach. To other part of the world, thanks to technology, I have a YouTube channel and Facebook or Instagram or that thing. I upload these videos, and I'm sure that you know, uh, as even if this live sessions, we have it. We have an educator from Georgia, from England, from I don't know the USA, and from the other part of Turkey, and from, for example, Ukraine or what, where, wherever they are from. I saw that one of the teacher from Nigeria. I know it. Yeah, they attend this session. So this is wonderful. I, I may, I, I, I think I managed to uh, make this you know, the people come together and listen to each other and ask questions to each other and sharing ideas. And so seeing this becomes really, you know, this is the 54th session and it's been of 54 weeks. It's not an easy thing to do it. 54 weeks. I, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to do it and uh, I'm really happy. And I'm really, you know, every week I became more motivated to hearing, to seeing what the people say and what I read. Uh, they write here or Facebook or Instagram or under the videos. So that's why I think uh, I done something really good about yeah. it so i'm really happy about it i want to congratulate you really uh Thank you. because if you remember when you first approached me uh i said are you an independent uh teacher or are you working for a company because i saw your amazing energy and every week Uh, well, of course, I cannot attend all of, of the course, uh, talks, of but every now and then I did. I did join uh, several of your talks, and you're doing a great job. And uh, as an individual language teacher, you have mm -hmm. displayed what a person can do. Only one person can do. That's what I'm talking about. So individuals can make a difference. And you're one of those individuals. You're Thank making you a difference. And I, as your colleague, I appreciate your effort, your time, and this wonderful uh, series of talks. <laughs> Thank you very much, Aydana John. This really, you know, that make me so happy to hearing this, really, really. And... I don't know what to say. I'm I'm really really happy. It was just a kind of a you dream. should be proud of yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And they're really writing in really nice uh, com comments comments here. And I can't see everyone, but I think someone asked a question here. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's the. I can't. I can't uh, see, I see the anything. question. Who was your favorite guest? And. Every every guest, you know, they're my favorite. So I yeah. can say this one. You can't one. ask that. <laughs> you can't ask that. Well, it's very much like asking a mother, who is your favorite child? You can't. Uh -huh. Of course, the host will have a favorite person or maybe some 
favorite people. As a host, I do have some favorite people. But uh, Volkan Ocam can never openly say it here. Because if he does, then he will lose his potential <laughs> of approaching <laughs> other people to be a uh, guest here. So the politically correct answer is every, each and every guest every contributes. Guest. Yeah, contributes. Thank you very much, Aydan Ocam. There is a question for you, Aydan Ocam here. I was uh, going to end it, but let me ask you this question and then we can finish yep, it. Sure. Does Aydan Hojam think appointing English literature graduates, graduates as... Uh, oh, sorry. I uh, There's a problem and I can't read it. I don't know. I tried to read. Sorry about it. Okay. I think I sorry, know what I, the I, person I is asking. read it. Uh, well... Uh, Physical education teachers can become English teachers. So literature graduates can become English teachers. Provided that they learn the teaching aspect. Teaching language uh, has several different aspects. Being aware of culture is important. Being aware of Linguistics is important. Being aware of teaching and learning theory is important. Mm -hmm. If they can do that, they are more than welcome. Why not? I mean, if din ve ahlak öğretmeni can teach English, literature graduates can teach English. I see. I, I, I don't have any... You know what? One of my most favorite teachers in ELT is a graduate of biology department. Wow. Yes. Yes. She improved herself so much that, I mean, he's, uh, she's somewhere that um, I cannot even describe her I mean, she's, she has become a model for everyone, an idol for everyone. One of my favorite students, PhD students, who is now a wonderful professor, full professor, wow. is not a graduate of language department. I see. But she loves this job, uh, profession. Mm -hmm. And uh, another person... I'm not going to give names, um, whom people admire in our field. I admire in our field. I respect that person is not from language background. They know themselves perfectly well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can understand. I so if, understand. if you have a C, Another proverb is coming. If there is a will, there is a way. If you want to do this job or profession, whatever you call it, you can. Ama Allah aşkına, don't be a walking zombie. Okay? Do not destroy young people's lives. I see. They are there uh, because... They are. They need that education. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe they have ten teachers. Maybe nine of them are horrible. But you, please, be the one teacher that gives that excitement to students. You know, ah, oh, I have English classes today. Woohoo! You know that kind of thing. Please, be different. I see. Thank you. Thank you, Aydan Hocam, for your wonderful comments and uh, your suggestions. Thank you. Okay, so Aydan Hocam, before uh, I, you know, the end the session, uh, would you like to add anything else to this live session? Well, um, I'm proud to be a part of this group. Those who have worked very hard all day long, 
mm-hmm. and come home and join this session thinking that they can improve themselves. I love you guys because you are the teachers who are going to make differences. Please don't change. Do not become lazy. Uh, embrace change. Try different things. Some will work, some won't. Mm-hmm. It's okay. It's okay. You will find ideas that will work. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining this session. I'm so sorry. I couldn't see the remarks. Thank you for, wonder, for your wonderful work. Even if you uh, wrote uh, swear words, that's okay. You don't have to uh, love me. That's what I said. And thank you, Okanoja. <laughs> However, I'm a little bit upset, sad, because I am the 54th speaker. Oh, <laughs> So, but <laughs> just joking. Just joking. I know, I know, I know. I don't know, John. I know. Thank, Thank you, you. Okonoja. I will always be here to support you. Inget nice. will always support you. Thank you. Very and much. my dear colleagues, thank you very much for being with me, joining our conversation, joining our talk. Take uh, good care of yourselves. Okay. Okay, Aydan Hocam. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to say one more time, Aydan Hocam, to join our live sessions. Uh, it was a great honor to have you. And Aydan uh, Ersoy, Professor Dr. Aydan Ersoy was with us Ersoy. tonight. Ersoy. Ersoy. What I said? I said... Uh, okay, <laughs> Aydan Ersoy was, uh, was with us. And it was really honor to have her here. And we had a wonderful session. And thank you very much one more time. Thank you very much, everybody who attended for this session and had a chance uh, to listen to her here. That was wonderful. And next week, we are going to have another uh, educator here on the same day at the same time. We are going to be here. And I hope you are going to be here too. Until that time, take care of yourselves. And good evening, good morning, and good afternoon, wherever you are. And that's all from Teacher Talks tonight. And thank you very much one more time. And bye-bye and peace, everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye.